Hello and welcome back to this video. In this playlist, we started to model and calculate the capacity of uh, rigid connection as uh, stated and has been done in 11 videos. And uh, it was about the beam HEA200 connected to a column HEA300 with an end plate with a thickness of 16 millimeter. We calculate the Bending moment capacity, and at the end, we calculated the rotational stiffness according to 1993-18 Eurocon. So now here, I'm going to model the same uh, connection with ANSYS 2023 R1. And here I have to thank EDR Medeso for providing the license to have this tutorial. Uh, to shorten the videos, I decided to have parts. As far as this would be a little bit long, in this video, we are going to have the geometry. You can have your geometry and import it right directly to the workbench. Uh, but here we can go through it by ourselves to learn a little bit about the geometry and a space claim. When you come to workbench, uh, we have this toolbox here and we are going to use a static a structural. The first one is about the engineering data that is not uh, going to be changed in this video. The reason is that uh, the load that we applied earlier in our hand calculation was 15 kilonewton per meter and also 20 kilonewton per meter. And as we noticed, it's far from the capacity. Also, majority of the failure mode was because of the bolt failure. It shows that it's far from being uh, plastic practically with these orders of numbers. So as a result, you don't need to touch it and the default value would be fine. Then you can import geometry here or using other options. You can double click and automatically you can go through a space claim. In the space claim also, you are able to import different uh, formats. Here I have the CAD model. If you go to open and here set it to DWG DXF, here I have the rigid connection. And if I open it, we can see that we have half of our task. The task is uh, modeling two columns, two beams, as far as it's completely symmetrical in terms of the uh, profiles and also the loading. So it's better if we cut it to half and use the symmetry plane. This would result in better quality of mesh and also shorter running time as using this symmetrical principle. Also, I have the details of the connection. Here you can see that I have HEA200, HEB300, and also the plate with the position of the bolts. You can directly import it. And here we can start to have this plane starting with HEA200. As we went through the comparison between solid model and also the uh, surface and shell model it's easier if we go with shell model you can check it in our TS top playlist in the display you can change the color and the beam length is 6668 millimeter as far as this is going to be half of it 3334 millimeter then we need to adjust the position of the root as far as it's quite out of the sketch here you can select and use move command And then we can use mirror command. I don't want to have a merge. First, you need to select mirror and 
than the object that you want to have mirror. This is one side of the profile. It should be also on the other side. I can use this plane and select the plane, move it in vertical direction up to the mid of the web and then using mirror command one more time. Here is our beam. We can also set the thickness of the elements. Flange is 10 millimeter. Root and web are 6.5 millimeter. Then you can just copy and paste in your main drawing window. First of all, we need to rotate it 90 degree. And also I need to move it in its right position. I use this point as the anchor and then I can bring it over here. If you look at the side view, we can see that the plate is exactly on the top. As far as we have all of these values as the offset type of middle, we need to bring it down for half of the flange thickness, which is five millimeter. And then we can select these, put them in a new component. I write HEA 200. That's all. Very easy. Then you can select it, control copy and paste. We know that it should be also three meters above this one. You can also check its position. It looks pretty good. And we are done with our beams. Now we can come back to the other window, delete these. And now I can go through the column. Again, select the plane that you want to sketch three hundred three hundred from the center to center finish the sketch I select these elements first I change the color to be in green and then the column length is 6,000 millimeter, but as far as it's up to the middle of the beam, it's better if we go a little bit longer and then we can adjust in our reference model. I will go with 6,200 millimeter. The next is uh, adjusting the location of the root. Move. Select it again in the green arrow direction one more time. And then we can use mirror command this plane and this is our object. We need to have another plane. I use this one, bring it to the center of web. And then we can use mirror command one more time. Flanges in HEB 300 are 19 millimeter. The rest are 11 millimeter. And now I can select these. Control copy and go to our main window. 
so it should be rotated 90 degree and also I have to relocate it to the center of our sketch which is looks pretty good and now we can adjust the height here you can see that it's a little bit longer you can select all edges and then move it to this elevation and also we can put them in one component HEB 300 we are done and now we can delete this part the only remaining is the plate again select this and using the rectangle 250 320 and also for we had 6m20 the whole diameter should be 22 millimeter And now we have the plate and the thickness of the plate is 16 millimeter you can select the plate and change the color now we need to have also the bolt head or uh, washer diameter for bolt connection you can select the same plane and here for the head uh, it's 34 millimeter and the sketch so here we can see that now we have the correct base you can just cross check now select the plate control copy coming back to our main window control paste it should be rotated 90 degree now we need to move it to its correct position select the plate then anchor to the top edge up to this point and also we have another plate three meters above control copy and paste and three meters above now if we look at the plate position we can see that it's not in the center the reason is that it is connected to the end of the plate you can indeed put it in the middle and use as uh, we use for other elements but as far as here the beam ends at this point it's better we uh, connect this plate to the exactly end of the beam as a result this plate as we can see here is offset type on middle is not on middle anymore because it's on the edge or on the top or bottom of the plate if you open this option you can see that we have top middle and bottom in this case we want to know which direction we have for this reason select the objects that you want go to measure and then select normal here you can see that we have normal in the right direction as well as here the arrow shows the top plate so here is the top as a result i can select these two and set offset type to be on top 
our model is uh, almost ready now we need to also have the holes on the flange I deselect or hide the layout I don't need beams for this we can go to design tab and use project first select the hole that you want to have the project as far as you have similar objects or edges you can come to selection and select the edges with the same length here we can see that six edges are selected now you can select this project and you can see that we have also in both in the other flange that we do not want select target face and select only the face that you want to have the effect the same for the other part here we can select the same and select the target face complete the action i can easily now turn off the end plates here we can select these delete them as well as the other side now we need to have the not sides uh, washer face as well we go to a sketch mode Thirty eight millimeter. As far as we have them, then it shows that when the color is red, it's the same size of that and now we have another if I turn off this uh, surface you can see that we do not have it as a result I can select this one use project and then select the target face and now I can delete this part completely so here I have the not face as well go to home show all so our model is almost ready some important notes if you have a big model some part of your model might be more important than the others for example here in our connection part we have a, a important part that might need to have finer mesh and for example here we are not interested in this part or the other part so for those places that you want to have a finer mesh you can split the object we have two options a split and a split body in a split body body will be also a split but if with the split you can keep the object that you have and you can just have the split as a cut or surface or other options so for here I would prefer to have 200 millimeter in the bottom of the uh, end plate downward and select that part with finer mesh now we can have a plane and I can bring this plane to this point and from there i will bring it down 200 millimeter more and a split select the faces or objects that you want to split use this plane cut and here you can see that without splitting the body we have two faces for example here or and then we can move this part to the top of the other end plate 200 millimeter above and now 
again bring it to the bottom of this plate from there 200 millimeter again using a split command select the items and then we are almost done the next point is that in a mechanical APDL we are going to use bolts and for bolts we are going to connect for example this face to this face as far as we have to do it six times for this six times for the other 12 times in total repetitive task we have the object generator in uh, mechanical APDL that we can use for that it's better if we have the name selection so if you look at this part this is the mobile part and the other part is the reference as a result i would like to select all the objects or faces with the similar area from here and name them as mobile for this you can come to selection here you can see that six faces are selected now i can go to group and create new group i will write mobile as the name but here you can see that uh, we have also six more faces here you can come here selection same area again six faces are uh, selected come back to here right click and add now if i select this you can see that 12 faces are selected the same principle for the other party uh, this is the reference i come here faces with the same as far as they are on the same face 12 faces are already selected come to here now i can write that this is reference checking these 16 millimeter on the top middle for HEA middle and looks good go to home view now we are ready to go except we have to connect the edges together for this you come to workbench use share and already you can see the edges that are sharing the topology one important note here is that even though the beam is exactly in the same coordinate of the plate in x direction but there is no line the reason is that the plate is with the option offset option of top and that's why it is not connected also it is better for this type of connections we keep it to do it in mechanical apdl uh, manually you just need to complete the action and it's better if we have a look on what we have right now so everything looks to be fine and you can just press escape to release the command and if you want to see the uh, model without that share topology here you can make a new window and that's our model now the model is ready here you can see that we have now the components are with share topology that's very important looks good that's the end of this video we went through the modeling of the um, beam to column connection with end plate we modeled the beam column and also the connection also we used a split for cutting the elements for better mesh quality that will come in the next video uh, in the next video we will go through the analyzing of the system with one method of bolt connection which is very common later on i will also introduce other options for bolt connections thank you for watching see you next time bye